leukemia, is cancer of the white blood cells. White blood cells help your body fight infection. Your blood cells form in your bone marrow. In leukemia, however, the bone marrow produces abnormal white blood cells. These cells crowd out the healthy blood cells, making it hard for blood to do its work. The word acute in acute lymphocytic leukemia comes from the fact that the disease progresses rapidly and creates immature blood cells, rather than mature ones. The word lymphocytic in acute lymphocytic leukemia refers to the white blood cells called lymphocytes, which all affects. Acute lymphocytic leukemia is also known as acute lymphoblastic leukemia. All is the most common childhood cancer. Children younger than age 5 have the highest risk. It can also occur in adults. Acute lymphocytic leukemia can also occur in adults, though the chance of a cure is greatly reduced. There are two main subtypes of all, B cell all and T cell all. Most types of all can be treated with a good chance of remission in children. Adults with all don't have as high of a remission rate, but it's steadily improving. What happens in acute lymphoblastic leukemia? All of the blood cells in the body are produced by bone marrow, a spongy material found inside bones. Bone marrow produces specialized cells called stem cells, which have the ability to develop into three important types of blood cells. Red blood cells, which carry oxygen around the body. White blood cells, which help fight infection. Platelets, which help stop bleeding. Normally, bone marrow doesn't release stem cells into the blood until they are fully developed blood cells. But in acute lymphoblastic leukemia, large numbers of white blood cells are released before they are ready. These are known as blast cells. As the number of blast cells increases, the number of red blood cells and platelet cells decreases. This causes the symptoms of anemia, such as tiredness, breathlessness and an increased risk of excessive bleeding. Also, blast cells are less effective than mature white blood cells at fighting bacteria and viruses, making you more vulnerable to infection. Leukemia is cancer of the white blood cells. White blood cells help your body fight infection. Your blood cells form in your bone marrow. In leukemia, however, the bone marrow produces abnormal white blood cells. These cells crowd out the healthy blood cells, making it hard for blood to do its work. The word acute in acute lymphocytic leukemia comes from the fact that the disease progresses rapidly and creates immature blood cells, rather than mature ones. The word lymphocytic in acute lymphocytic leukemia refers to the white blood cells called lymphocytes, which all affects. Acute lymphocytic leukemia is also known as acute lymphoblastic leukemia. All is the most common childhood cancer. Children younger than age 5 have the highest risk. It can also occur in adults. Acute lymphocytic leukemia can also occur in adults, though the chance of a cure is greatly reduced. There are two main subtypes of all, B cell all and T cell all. Most types of all can be treated with a good chance of remission in children. Adults with all don't have as high of a remission rate, but it's steadily improving. What happens in acute lymphoblastic leukemia? All of the blood cells in the body are produced by bone marrow, a spongy material found inside bones. Bone marrow produces specialized cells called stem cells, which have the ability to develop into three important types of blood cells. Red blood cells, which carry oxygen around the body. White blood cells, which help fight infection. Platelets, which help stop bleeding. Normally, bone marrow doesn't release stem cells into the blood until they are fully developed blood cells. But in acute lymphoblastic leukemia, large numbers of white blood cells are released before they are ready. These are known as blast cells. As the number of blast cells increases, the number of red blood cells and platelet cells decreases. This causes the symptoms of anemia, such as tiredness, breathlessness and an increased risk of excessive bleeding. Also, 
blast cells are less effective than mature white blood cells at fighting bacteria and viruses, making you more vulnerable to infection. It is a genetic change, mutation, in the stem cells that causes immature white blood cells to be released into the bloodstream. Acute lymphocytic leukemia occurs when a bone marrow cell develops errors in its DNA. The errors tell the cell to continue growing and dividing, when a healthy cell would normally stop dividing and eventually die. When this happens, blood cell production becomes abnormal. The bone marrow produces immature cells that develop into leukemic white blood cells called lymphoblasts. These abnormal cells are unable to function properly, and they can build up and crowd out healthy cells. It's not clear what causes the DNA mutations that can lead to acute lymphocytic leukemia. But doctors have have identified a few risk factors of the condition. Previous cancer treatment. Children and adults who've had certain types of chemotherapy and radiation therapy for other kinds of cancer may have an increased risk of developing acute lymphocytic leukemia. Exposure to radiation. People exposed to very high levels of radiation, such as survivors of a nuclear reactor accident, have an increased risk of developing acute lymphocytic leukemia. Genetic disorders. Certain genetic disorders, such as Down syndrome, are associated with an increased risk of acute lymphocytic leukemia. Having a brother or sister with all people who have a sibling, including a twin, with acute lymphocytic leukemia have an increased risk of all. Tests and procedures used to diagnose acute lymphocytic leukemia include Physical examination, your doctor must complete a full physical exam and conduct blood and bone marrow tests to diagnose all. They likely ask about bone pain, since it's one of the first symptoms of all. Blood tests. Blood tests may reveal too many white blood cells, not enough red blood cells and not enough platelets. A blood test may also show the presence of blast cells, immature cells normally found in the bone marrow. Bone marrow test. During bone marrow aspiration, a needle is used to remove a sample of bone marrow from the hip bone or breastbone. The sample is sent to a lab for testing to look for leukemia cells. Imaging tests. Imaging tests such as an X-ray, computerized tomography, CT. Scan or ultrasound scan may help determine whether cancer has spread to the brain and spinal cord or other parts of the body. Spinal fluid test. A lumbar puncture test, also called a spinal tap, may be used to collect a sample of spinal fluid, the fluid that surrounds the brain and spinal cord. The sample is tested to see whether cancer cells have spread to the spinal fluid. Tests and procedures used to diagnose acute lymphocytic leukemia include Physical examination, your doctor must complete a full physical exam and conduct blood and bone marrow tests to diagnose all. They likely ask about bone pain, since it's one of the first symptoms of all. Blood tests. Blood tests may reveal too many white blood cells, not enough red blood cells and not enough platelets. A blood test may also show the presence of blast cells, immature cells normally found in the bone marrow. Bone marrow test. During bone marrow aspiration, a needle is used to remove a sample of bone marrow from the hip bone or breast bone. The sample is sent to a lab for testing to look for leukemia cells. Imaging tests. Imaging tests such as an X-ray, computerized tomography, CT. Scan or ultrasound scan may help determine whether cancer has spread to the brain and spinal cord or other parts of the body. Spinal fluid test. A lumbar puncture test, also called a spinal tap, may be used to collect a sample of spinal fluid, the fluid that surrounds the brain and spinal cord. The sample is tested to see whether cancer cells have spread to the spinal fluid.
if a cure for acute lymphoblastic leukemia isn't possible, there's a risk that the lack of healthy blood cells can make the person extremely vulnerable to life-threatening infections, because of the lack of white blood cells, prone to uncontrolled and serious bleeding, because of the lack of platelets. Outlook The outlook for children with acute lymphoblastic leukemia is usually good. Almost all children will achieve remission, a period of time where they're free from symptoms, and 85% will be completely cured. The outlook for adults with acute lymphoblastic leukemia is less promising. Around 40% of people aged between 25 and 64 will live for five years or more after receiving their diagnosis. In those aged 65 or over, around 15% will live for five years or more after being diagnosed.